For anyone just joining, uh, we're about to run a Stafford Gambit tournament. And for the very few people who maybe aren't familiar with the Stafford, it's an opening for Black. It's one of my favorite aggressive, very dubious Gambits. That um, This is basically the starting position. There's been eight games in the Masters database. The engine will give almost a decisive advantage for white, but I have tons of YouTube content on this. Uh, and there is so many traps that white can fall for from this position. It's of course a risky opening to play, but it can be effective against those who maybe aren't adequately prepared because a lot of natural moves can walk into just some nasty traps. So I'm not going to analyze too much before the tournament begins, but hopefully we'll get a good handful of tricks and traps. Nine, okay, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, Stafford Gambit four, time. Three, two, one, zero. Good luck, everyone. What's happening? Okay, there we go. Whoa, I'm black. Okay, hopefully I set up the position correctly. I think I did. Okay, so d3 is one of the most common moves. I like that my opponent's thinking already. So maybe they're not so well prepared. Uh, c3 is a move, but it walks into this move. And then if takes, I have check, and then the queen will fall. So this is already like a kind of tricky line. D4, yeah, essentially I won back the pawn, um, but it's playable for white. Do I have queen, queen h4, g3, take? Oh, I really want to do that. This might be overly risky. A five. So there's no F three. Yeah, maybe this wasn't necessary. But I'm defending the knight. Knight D two I probably have to trade. Okay. That's slightly annoying. Queen f6. How about I sack the pawn? Ah, oh, but f3. Ay -ay -ay. King h8. I'll play king h8. Oh no. I didn't actually address the threat. Ah, that's not a good start. C5, take, take. I'll try something here. Yeah, my phone's good enough to just close this out. Uh, I have to trade queens too. What to do? Any compensation? C6. Okay, let's play this. I have the bishop pair, but white has it too. Yeah, and the thing is I gotta find position too from opening. <laughs> And just queen h4 was not necessary. But I'm going to try and fight. Mm. This move's coming. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, a3, good move. I should probably just resign. I'll play a few more moves though.
Okay, I resign. <laughs> that was a rough start. Okay, it's uh, it's uh, Arena Gambit losing my first game. All right, let's Berserk. And I'll play one maybe so-called Refutation. Okay, F3 is actually a, a natural move to play. Okay, the goal is to hold on to the pawn, defend the center, playing, yep, CC3. Wow. Wow. Opponent wanted to... Actually, no, the, the pawn was pinned. Okay. So I'm up three pawns here. Two pawns are hanging. Which one will black take? Welcome back to Pam. All right, let's play G4. Support the, the pawn that's about to be promoted, hopefully. Okay, h5 is looming. Check. Ooh. I'm trying to make progress here. Allow 95. Yeah, my opponent is, um, okay, has a bullet rating of almost 2,000. So decent player. I want to play h6. Try and make some headway on the king side. I have to be careful. There, there. Let's play this first. I'm getting dangerously low on time. But Black's position isn't great. The Rook's attacked. I'm ready to double up on the seventh, too. Okay, there's one check. I'm not taking the rook. Keep all the pressure. That's a good move, though. Uh... I have to be really careful. Okay, 91, I play king f1. Oh, my queen! Oh, no! Someone call an ambulance! Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, if the queen's taken, it's mate. I don't think black can really do much, though. Maybe move the rook? Oh, that's a tricky move. Uh, let's play this. Wait, let's not play that. Ah, my time! Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was really close. Cutting a very, very close. I almost lost to the Stafford. Uh, I'll berserk. Okay. Let me turn on my heart rate monitor. All right, we'll play this one. Now you four. 
d3 is a very natural move. Knight c3 is a fine move. Uh, I'll play bishop f5. And can I be aggressive here? I want to be aggressive. Take. All right, let's take first and c5. Mm. Okay. Control the center. Win back the pawn. Get ready for it. Not quite, though. Yeah, White's playing well. I was trying to just win quickly, but kind of backfired there. Uh, let's play this. Still trying to win somehow on the king side. It's a risky move. Let's take. Wait, this ending is just worse for me. I'm going to be down a pawn. Oops. Let's play this. Some tricks. Okay, I'm going to win back this pawn, I think. Man, the struggle is real. Okay, let's go after these pawns. I should have taken on g3. Repeat? Okay. Okay, now it's winning. It's a race, but I'm a little bit quicker. Okay. The king could catch this pawn, but then it can't catch the other pawn. GG. Oh, thank you, Lacquer Docs. Gifting to Sonia. All right, so top 10. I'm going to try and win the tournament. These games have been a little bit shaky so far. Have to find some rhythm. All right. I'll play d3 this time. I'll play the, the so-called refutation line. Bishop e2, h5, and then c3. And we'll see how much my opponent knows here. The idea is to play a quick d4. As black, there's there's a really cool line to try and create chaos on the, the board. Bishop g4. I'll play f3. This is one secret to uh, sometimes playing Stafford or playing against the Stafford as white. This f3 move can be very useful, preventing the knight and bishop from using the square, and reinforcing the center. It's a question which way to castle. Staying flexible. Probably kingside. Okay. Connect for trapping the bishop. It's a very aesthetic bishop trap. Oh, I plundered a pawn. Oh, the pawn was pinned. I was admiring my connect four too much. But the good thing about being up a pawn is that when you lose a pawn, then it's just equal material. So I'm not down anything. 
and the position is still solid. It could have been better though. Uh, I need some danger levels. The king should probably be elsewhere. All right, we'll trade into some ending. That's a good move. Yeah, these games are um, are not easy. Like sometimes the Stafford is associated with quick wins. In black is maybe for choice here. The knight is pretty strong. And generally the queen knight combination is preferable over queen bishop. My center looks nice, but only so much I can do with it. All right, let's do this. Defending two pawns, attacking the knight. Yes, if knight e6, that's a move too. A very tricky move. I was more scared of queen d4 there. Oh. Hey, it's Connect 4 again. <laughs> Maybe this one will be more powerful than the last one. Uh, let's play this. I'm going to play E6. Okay, I probably should have lost this game. Check. Okay. Oh, that was close. <laughs> game to my opponent. I have 11 points. This FM must be stopped. Gonna need to try and get revenge at some point. Okay. Oh, speaking of, let's see if my opponent has learned their lesson from earlier. Okay. Already some improvement. So G3 is the most common move. This is a so-called magical line. Hitting F2. And now H4. So this is one reason why I still enjoy playing the Stafford is because of this position. It's just super chaotic. Objectively, white's much better like according to the engine, but for a human to sift through the complications, not so easy. And against most players, this like guarantees a early time advantage. Rook g1 is one of the main moves. Also one of the top engine moves. Yeah, this is all still prep. Now, there's a crazy line after pawn digs bishop. We might get it, yeah. This is bishop c4 line. This is uh, this is just insane. Insane. I have to give credit to Jonathan Schrantz for discovering this. He released a video several years ago about how to like crush stockfish, or how to almost beat stockfish in this line. 
I have to remember the prep because we attack the queen. Queen moves, we sack the rook, take the pawn, rook d8. And then it's so easy for white to be losing. Okay, it's happening. The king is forced to the d-file. There goes white's queen. Oh, it feels so good to get all the prep. Hey, it's Vampire Chicken. Yeah, shout out to Vampire Chicken, who's a, a mod, also editor of many of my YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, we can win the rook. White was technically like okay material-wise, but just severely underdeveloped. Take the pawn. Queen d3 is hard to stop. Okay, that was a, a very feel-good game. <laughs> Got all the Stafford prep. And uh, yeah, I've, I haven't fully dismantled this person's first place, but I've stopped their streak. I'm keeping my own streak. Got 24 minutes left. Still many more games to play. All right, playing e5. I've been mixing up the moves a bit. Yeah, knight g4 is already uh, the uh, not so great move. Because now, yeah, the knight's forced away, and I'll try and win quickly here. Calculating this, this, I win the queen. Mm, check. I have to do this. I have queen f7. Bishop e7. Okay, let's not take the bishop. Go for more. Imrosen, let's go. Imrosen, let's go. Imrosen, let's go. Let's go. Imrosen, let's go. Bishop f5. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's almost a funny mate. There's about five. There, there. Ah, it doesn't work, though. I could take on e7. If it takes the queen, I win the queen and make a new queen. And if takes takes, we trade and up material. Ooh. Okay. Let's have some fun. Uh, check. Mate. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel bad doing that to the Stafford, but what to do? Okay, tied for first, still on a streak. There we go. Uh, okay, let's berserk. I'm feeling confident. Okay, we're going into the same line, but slightly different. Yeah, this is playable. I'm hitting h2 now. This is one of the sources of counterplay for black. So I won back the pawn. Uh, but now what to do? Interesting, almost endgame type position. I think the plan is to play queen g3 and then rook h2. Hammer away at this pawn. a2 is kind of hanging. Let's take it. Because there's no rook a1 now. There's c4. Okay, let's defend. And invade. Bishop. Where's my bishop go? I could play this move. Ooh, rook f2, bishop c4. Queen takes c4, queen f2, king d3, rook d1 checkmate. 
Oh, it's so pretty. And if rook f2, bishop c4, knight t3, white's completely tied down. Like, there might be some eventual zugzwang. Okay, this line I win the queen. Oh no, my queen! But oh yes, my future queen. Okay, white still has funny pawn structure. It's like one of these, um, not Jenga pieces, Tetris pieces? It's like a fake Tetris piece. Okay. It's not stalemate. Okay. B6 checkmate. Back to tournament. Oh, it, yeah, it resembled how the camel moves. Up three and over one. Okay, that was a fun game. I mean, all these games are fun. Like, guaranteed fun with every game being the Stafford. Now, it's not too late to join. You can still uh, click the link in chat. We do have the join command. 19 minutes left in the tournament. Okay, another testing testing game in this line. Ooh, castling. This is what I taught Nemo. I think uh, bishop e7. Castling is a very solid move, but there's still some attacking potential for black. I'm trying to remember, like, if h3, can I play h4? Probably not. Probably have to move back, but... Okay, there's ideas of queen g6, etc. Actually, maybe h3, queen g6, takes, takes, and then there's some h file play. Can I take on h2? Let's do it. Pure intuition here. I'm just going full YOLO, and it's probably not working. I have this move though. Check. Can I make this work? King moves and then h3. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm trying to understand what's going on here. I don't have much time either. G6 preparing f5. If the knight moves, it moves here, I win the pawn. If it moves elsewhere, I win this pawn. I do open the e-file. Mm, good move. Okay, I'm hitting the knight. I have the battery against the king. F5 is coming, maybe. Take. Start by taking. Yeah. yeah I have to trade queens. Still some practical chances, but it's going to be tough to fight back here. Ninety five is a great move. I can't even castle. So here, here. It's going to take a lot of work to win this. Yeah. Okay, trying to confuse the opponent. Takes, takes with check. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good move. Oh, yeah. 12 seconds. Oh, good game. <laughs> oh, it's kind of intense. What happened to my heart rate? Connect. Okay. Oh, okay. Playing this person. Wow, they have 38 points. Wait, how did that happen? What just happened? Okay, let's play this. They're going to play the same line I played against them. <laughs> or not. Uh, let's play this. Okay, I'm really trying to refute the Stafford here. Using all the tools in my toolkit. It's still a little bit tricky. Play A4. Okay, I've learned my lesson from one of those previous games. So bishop h3 almost works, but then I have bishop f4. A little bit unsettling. That's a good move. I think I sack back the pawn. And rook d1. Yeah, they really want revenge for that last game. Play rook d2. b3. So this is a very solid configuration. I did lose back the pawn, so it is equal material, but this bishop is trapped for hopefully a long time. Oh, very fancy. There, there. If I take, if I take, I lose a queen. Or do I? Look at this move. C4, knight d7 check. And then knight b6. The knight comes to the rescue. Okay, my opponent saw that. But now the bishop's trapped again. Rook e1 on tap. Mm. Play this move. Oh, good move. Play this. I want to win the f-pawn. Yeah, the bishop's returning. Play this. I'm defending g2. Okay, making some progress. Or am I? Check. Rook defends d1. I just have to make sure there's no counterplay. 
queen e3, I take. Very, very tricky. I think queen e3 is the only chance. Uh, yeah, the position's not winning for me, I don't think, unless... Let's go back. Mm. What well, is this pawn structure? Pawns are everywhere. Yeah, that was a bad move. Dirty flag incoming. Young children, close your eyes. Okay, blockade. Yeah, it doesn't work though. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm too slow. Good game. Oh, I had a good position to what to do. I think that's the first time in this tournament I lost against a Stafford. Okay. Not too much time left. I'm so tilted right now. I'll try and finish strong. I think people are learning what to do against this opening. Wait, what? Wait, have I studied this? There, there. Okay, let's play bishop e6. This looks good, but I'm not entirely sure. Bishop c4? Wow, rook e1, rook d2, rook d8, knight d2, I smother fork the queen and king. But now if I play this, there's takes. What if I just play a quiet move? This is frustrating. I don't see my quiet move. Let's play this. It still looks playable. Okay, now I'm threatening this. And this, maybe. White's a little bit stuck. Never too late to castle. So I'm still down a piece, but I have two pawns for it. Uh, 
I also have very little time. This is almost working. I'm going to have to do this. B6 is too slow. I have five pawns for something, for Rook and Knight. Oh, there goes one pawn. Oh no. I'm getting hurt. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, rejoining the tournament. That was rough. Okay, a few more games left. Still having fun. That's what matters. Oh, playing subham. Okay, no berserking. Let's play e5. Actually, let's berserk. Yeah, Queen H4 is a move I like to play. Knight G5. Interesting maneuver. Okay, having threats already. All right, we're simplifying to the end game. Ooh, ooh, very fancy. Because uh, if I play this, his queen takes off two check. Okay, we're still simplifying, though. Wait, am I trapping the rook? Uh, the rook ran out of squares. Okay. I don't think I can catch Subham though. <laughs> nice berserking streak. Oh, this is water, yeah. It's a hot day today, so I'm trying to keep cool. All right, final game probably. Ooh, let's take. I feel like that was a playable move. Oh, wow. I just blundered. Oops. Wait, I'm in trouble here. Yeah, this is a lot of trouble. I thought this was going to be an easy, like, opening win. <laughs> Oh, and I berserked. All right, let's try and fight back. Let's uh, first cut the losses. Optimize the pieces. Look for tricks. I think taking... Takes, takes. Yeah. Doesn't work. Opponent's playing this well. Oh, 
Hoping for C5, D5. There's always chances when you have a knight. Okay, this would be a nice uh, deja vu rook trap. All right, getting the pawns rolling. This is my bowling ball. These are the pins. Play this. I'm not stopping. have to tear down everything in my tracks. I feel like a powerful hurricane. But how to actually... Okay. I think that makes life easier. A king will come in. Uh, the pawns are just too strong. Nothing can stop the pawn's desire to be a queen. The tournament's officially over, though. So what to do? Oh, welcome back, knight c8. If I had a c-pawn, I could promote to a knight on c8, maybe, but that's not happening. Queens are born... Okay. Well, that was fun. I hope people enjoyed the tournament. The impromptu Stafford Gambit Arena. Nice job to Pop Milan, who uh, was the highest rated player. Okay, I'll probably put that on YouTube. Stafford Gambit Arena. Maybe wasn't the highest quality chess. Oh, look at this. Black wins 51%. Stafford Gambit. Slightly more powerful. 